Hello, well, it's Monday. I'm glad to be back. I hope you've had a really good uh, weekend, rested and refreshed, ready for a new week. With the summer feeling like it's really here, at least down in the south, uh, it's, uh, it felt like it was time to get a new pair of summer shoes, some training shoes. Uh, and that's really not because I'm being frivolous, but because uh, two years ago I bought in the sale in Marks and Spencers these shoes. Uh, they were £12.50. I really like them. They're really nice. But every single time I wear them, uh, they, uh, they butcher the back of my heels every time. So I thought after two years of perseverance, really uh, at £12.50, I could let them go and get something different with a clear conscience. So I went online uh, to uh, Amazon and I bought a pair of Vans, if that means anything to you. Uh, and, uh, and I had them delivered and uh, we were sitting out in the garden as I unpacked them and I took the box out of the bag and immediately I could feel that something wasn't quite right. And then I opened the box and it was evident that something wasn't quite right. And then when I took them out of the box, it was obvious something was not right. These are the new ones, beautiful. And these are the old ones. Oops. Instead of hitting size 10 and a half adults, I hit size 10 and a half kids. There's no way I'm going to get my feet into those shoes. As beautiful as they are, they are utterly, utterly useless to me. And they were expensive. I mean, you know, beautiful, attractive, but not anywhere near possible to be the shoes I need them to be. Let me read to you from Isaiah chapter 45, beginning at verse 5. I am the Lord and there is no other. Apart from me, there is no God. I will strengthen you, though you have not acknowledged me, so that from the rising of the sun to the place of its setting, people may know there is none besides me. I am the Lord and there is no other. You know, we can put our trust in all kinds of things. Uh, we can uh, sink our lives and our, uh, our pastimes and our money and our passions into all kinds of things. But if it's not the Lord, it's like buying a trainer that's that big, that doesn't fit, that's useless, that you can't get anywhere out because you can't even get your foot into it. Our God is great, is big, is massive, can do the things that we need him to do. He's not small and inadequate. We might think that the things that we put our trust in and the causes that we follow are, are, are good and attractive and righteous and all of those things, but if they are not God, then they don't fit. They're useless. God is the one who is big enough, great enough, majestic enough to do what we need him to do. When I got this out of the box, there was a part of me that thought, do you know, they're so beautiful. I just wish I could keep it. I just wish I could put it on, but it's useless. It's no good. We spend a lot of our time chasing after things that are not right, that are never going to deliver. Whether it's uh, success or power or money, uh, whether it's uh, beauty, whether it's fitness, all of those kinds of things. Status. All of those kinds of things. We just need to put our trust in God, in something that's big enough to change our lives, something that's uh, big enough to love us when we're unlovely, something that is big enough to stay faithful with us uh, when we're not faithful to him. Only our God can do that. Only our God. It doesn't matter where else you look, you will always end up getting the wrong size and overpaying for it. Our God gave us everything in Jesus and he is the right size, the biggest, the greatest, the deepest, the widest, the loveliest. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you that you are a God who is the greatest, the only God. 
Help us to remember that, Lord Jesus, as we go through life, as we're tempted to put our trust in other things. Help us to remember that, that only you are the right size to be our God. Father, we pray that we would cling to you and we would just let go of all those other things that we uh, might be tempted to put our trust in. Father, make us faithful to you as you are faithful to us. Lord, make us loving as you are loving to us. Make us grateful, Lord, as you are generous to us. And in all things, Lord, make us aware of your, faith, your, your greatness and your majesty. Lord Jesus, we pray in your name. Amen. Shall we say the Lord's Prayer? Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. just want to say a prayer tonight for Chris, uh, who uh, is a member of our congregation and uh, he's gone into Lewisham Hospital tonight. So we just pray for him and uh, for, um, uh, for Margie, his wife. Um, we just lift the Lord. I lift them to the Lord. Let's just pray. Lord, we pray for Chris and all those who tonight are struggling with uh, in health or worries or infirmities. Uh, Lord, all those who are fearful about results uh, or wondering what will happen next, just come so close to them in your greatness, Lord, that you might pour upon them the greatness of your love and the greatness of your healing touch. Lord, you are a God big enough to do this and we're grateful. And we ask you, Lord, to come now and give them love and peace. In Jesus' name. Amen. Uh, so have a great night's sleep and I'll see you tomorrow. Uh, and maybe tonight as you go to sleep, it's time just to say, uh, I'm going to perhaps send those ill-fitting gods back, those ill-fitting idols back. Uh, and I'm going to keep hold of uh, the God who is true, the God who is loving and the God who is great. Good night.